What is going on everybody? In this week's episode, we will have a human and a robot, yes, a robot, edit the exact same photo. Now to provide some clarification on robot, it's not an actual robot being like, I am editing this photo, this photo is looking so good, check out these tones. So what I actually mean by robot, just a little asterisk there, I actually mean artificial intelligence. Now Skylum makes a photo editing software called Luminar 4, which is jam packed with AI technologies to make your photos look better. Essentially how it works is that Skylum has fed it thousands of amazing photos and with its learning technology, Technology, it determines what's the best edit for your photo. We're gonna see what it's like when a human who has emotions and creative decisions versus a robot who will be like, I make the best decision. I've seen all of the world's greatest arts. You are pathetic. <laughs> I am the ultimate winner. Actually, you guys will be deciding who the winner is. So we'll be using YouTube's poll function during each round and you guys will decide which photo edit you like better. There will be three rounds. The first round will be a sky replacement. The next one will be a portraiture. And the last one will be the basics. Who decides the best exposure, contrast, and saturation. So let's jump into the stuff that you actually wanna see, the photo editing. Up first, the human. Let's start. All right, welcome to the first round, uh, which we'll be doing a basic sky replacement. I will be the human editing this photo. So we will be taking this photo here, which is just a basic photo that we took when we were traveling through the Dolomites. When you look at this photo, it's kind of bland. The sky's kind of blown out. There's nothing interesting happening. There's no clouds. Normally I'd look at a photo like this and just pass on it, but now we can actually add skies to this. I'll be doing an edit in Photoshop and seeing how this sky replacement goes. I'm also not the best at sky replacements, by the way, this is why I usually don't do them and I leave it up to other software to do it, but uh, let's see how well I can do today. Okay, that is my quick and dirty Photoshop sky replacement. It passes. Like if someone saw that and they like did a quick glance, they'd be like, mm, that's a nice photo. Looks like you had fun in Italy. Let's try Luminar now. Let's see how the robot does. Okay, over here, AI sky replacement. Boom, sunset three, same background. That looks way better, I'm not gonna lie. It blends it so much better than mine. Here, let's, let's bring this up. Let's do a little side by side here. It looks like my rocks are glowing. Rocks don't glow, just, just telling you that right now. And that just looks like I gave up and just stopped trying in this section over here. And if you compare over in this one, the rocks just, that looks natural, like it just looks good. Okay, Lizzie, come here. My sky replacement. not expecting this everyone, okay? My sky replacement versus Luminar sky replacement. Well, I think the main difference is probably how long did each of them take you? Yeah, mine took like five minutes. And this took how long? Uh, like a second. And by second, I mean like 12 seconds. There you go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, if we go back to this photo here, I just want to show you how you can cycle through a bunch of different skies. Let's do some like dramatic sunsets. Not bad. And you can just cycle through until you find one that matches your scene nicely. Like even that looks pretty decent. With a little bit of editing, you can really like fine tune that. The one that I liked was Sunset 3 because it matched the scene perfectly and that photo looks legit. So the AI sky replacement tool is probably my favorite tool in Luminar 4. It's also the reason why I purchased it four months ago and I've actually used it on client work because it does such a good job. Here's one of the photos that I used it for on a paid project. It looks pretty legit. Even the client was like, oh, it looks like you got good weather that day. Sweet. If you guys want to, you can also load your own sky images. So let's say you've gone out and you've taken dope sky photos. You can load those images in here. Dang. Not the right sky for this setting, but you can see how easy it is. So let's go back to our Sunset 3 here for a quick second. And they have all these other features like relighting the scene, which will blend the image with that new sky. You can change their horizon if it's not perfect. Make sure that the blending on the horizon line looks good and it will figure out the mask for you and you can pick the exact spot that you like. You can add some like atmospheric haze, change the sky temperature and then also play around with the exposure of your sky for that scene. So let's finish the edit on this image. The before and after on that. Before, after, before, after. Dope. If you guys had not voted for our last round, here's your chance again to 
vote for the winner. Okay, for our next round, we will be editing a portrait. So we have an image here that I have of Lizzie Pierce, my beautiful fiance, lying in a bunch of clovers. It's my good luck charm over here. She's the best thing in my life. All right, so going into this image here, let's just start going. That's not bad. I like that edit. All right, let's go into Luminar for him. So now we're gonna like really focus on the AI portrait enhancer here. So now that we have like a general edit that we're happy with, I'm gonna go and just play around with some of these tools. They got the face light tool here. One of the things I wanted to show here during this is it has like a, a slimming tool for the face. And because Lizzie's laying on her back, her face is kind of like getting pulled down by gravity. So we can actually bring it back to normal by just playing around with this tool here. This is one of those tools that you could easily overuse. So if we use it too much, Lizzie's gonna go. And because it was bright outside and she had a bit of like diffused light over her face, she's probably squinting ever so slightly. So let's just enlarge those eyes a touch. It looks like they're a bit more open. We can improve the eyebrows, darken those eyebrows a touch, which I should have done on my last edit and I totally forgot. Hi, right, Luna, do you wanna see a photo of mommy? Is that a cool photo? Okay, so here is my edit, and here is the robot's edit. You guys can decide, but also I want Lizzie to decide too. Which one do you like better? I'm Lizzie. Luminar made my skin look better. This is really great if you're like a wedding photographer and you just wanna to try to like do some quick edits rather than spending all this time like fixing pimples and doing all this stuff. Let me show you because Lizzie's skin is too perfect. I wanna show you real quick how good the AI skin enhancer is. So let's bring this image in right here of me because I have this huge cyst on my face that I have to get removed at some point. Okay, so as you can see over here, my cyst is beautiful and I have some other defects on my face. AI skin defects removal. You just click this little button right here and boom. Let's see, on and off. Now your boy is having a glow up. If you're trying to do a portrait session and you wanna to try to do some quick edits, this is a great way to just like let the AI blast through some of the settings. All right, again, a reminder, if you have not voted at this point, vote is back up here. You guys can decide who the winner was that last round. Up next, we're gonna be doing our basics. We're talking about exposure, saturation, clarity, structure, all those things, and see who does a better job. We'll be editing a photo from Alberta right here with these lovely ducks going for a swim here. Nice, happy family. Start off with this. Ooh, got, okay. I'm not gonna be making any uh, creative color decisions. I'm just gonna be doing some mask and doing basic exposure and saturation and all the other things so that it's a fair comparison. Okay, I'm gonna call that my final photo. Pretty happy with that. Now the robot. Uh, just to provide a little clarification, because I know that you probably think that like a robot's gonna do everything. I'm still gonna make the choice on sliding the robot or the AI sliders to the liking that I want, but it's still doing all this masking, all this other work that I'm not doing. I'm literally just sliding a slider so that it's not just like, to the top. The AI enhance tool, which is gonna be doing a bit of masking, exposure, and saturation. Smart contrast, pick the areas where the contrast's gonna look the best. I feel like with three sliders, it already literally looks the same as the edit I had before. Landscape enhancer. Let's do some like this golden hour vibe. Ooh, that looks cool. As you can hear, my MacBook Pro is running. This is a little bit of an intensive program. Uh, so make sure you have somewhat of a decent machine while you're using Luminar 4. So I'm using a MacBook Pro from 2016 and it's doing a good job. Let's use some of this detail enhancer. Oh, that's a little too much on that. You can actually pick the exact details that you want, essentially sharpening certain areas. We're not gonna do a sky replacement because that sky looks pretty good, but maybe AI augmented sky where you can add in objects. Let's see if we add in some birds, some, whoa, that's a lot of birds. Too many birds, Chris. That looks better. That looks like a family of birds enjoying their life together. Something I really liked in this program is called the advanced contrast. So rather than doing contrast on everything, you can specify whether it's the midtones or the highlights. And I usually will do a bit of a lift on the highlights contrast and the midtones contrast. So 
So this is our final photo in Luminar, and this is our final photo in Lightroom. Before, after Lightroom, before, after Luminar. You guys can decide. The polls are now open. It's hard to decide who is the winner in these situations because it's all up to personal taste, but I just wanted to do like a basic kind of exposure, contrast, saturation, and then you could always go in here and choose your colors and play around with them. But I think the robot did a really good job of just balancing out the image with like a few sliders. That's always something to remember is that I did three sliders and it pretty much got me to the exact same spot as me editing for about three to four minutes in Lightroom. All right guys, so that was the contest. This is your opportunity to go and leave a comment. Who did a better job? Who was the winner? How did the robot do? I think the robot did a really good job. Also, if you go and leave a comment, you'll be entered in to win all the sky replacement packs from Luminar 4. So super high quality JPEGs that you can use in the Luminar 4 program and or Photoshop to boost up those images and bring some old images back to life with different sky replacements. So I've been using it in my current workflow with Lightroom. So I'll edit my photo in Lightroom and I'll right click, maybe go in and use the sky replacement tool or I'll use the, the portrait enhancing tool or some of the other AI functions, save it. It automatically saves right back into Lightroom and I'll keep editing my photo until I have something that I actually want to post or use for a client. If you guys don't use Lightroom or Photoshop in your current workflow, it's compatible with a few other programs. You guys can go check that out on the website, but it also works as a standalone program and it's a great photo editing tool. So the nice thing is that Luminar is a one-time fee. So once you buy it, you have it for life. On top of that, there's a seven day trial and a 30 day money back guarantee. So even if you just want to download it to play around with the different sky replacements, it's a really fun tool to go and explore. If you guys are interested in picking up Luminar 4, which I would recommend because I use it quite often, you guys can go and save $10 off your purchase using the links below. So now would actually be a really good time to learn a new program for those of you that are stuck inside during this quarantine. It's fun to experiment with different tools and see what the results can be. So if you guys post any images using Luminar 4, please tag me and I'll share some of my favorite images on Instagram. I do want to say a big thank you to Luminar 4 and Skyline for sponsoring this video. It was really fun using their software. I'm a big fan of it. I use it all the time myself and on that note if you guys liked this video you like this comparison please press like that stuff actually makes a difference subscribe and hit the bell but then hit the bell again so that you're notified for every video not the algorithms video where they're just like I'll show you a couple of times this video but now today I'm showing you this video about Lego no you guys want to see all the videos so hit the bell to be notified for all videos and we'll catch you guys in the next one I've had three coffees today I'm riled up I'm about to buy a pizza I'm stoked. Loved you all. Loved you all? Jeez, I need to get some sleep. Bye. But also, cat, go over there because you're ruining my video. I mean, you made it better. I love having a cat. Like our family, right, right Lizzie? We're happy, right? Um, Don't say um. Say, yeah. say yes. She said yes. All right, let's edit this photo.